the idea again many areas of Florida completely submerged tonight one city that's especially hard hit Fort Myers it is home to many native Hoosiers. Yeah, CBS 4's Eric Graves has been talking to some Indiana folks who have been in the path of the storm for more than a day now. Eric, how are these folks doing? The last time I was able to check in with them, not great. We're going to show you a good side by side comparison on your left here. This is about 5 p.m. yesterday. Now right over here, this is noon today. A less than 24 hour change. The ocean took over the front yard and beyond there on Fort Myers Beach. We've been trying to get more pictures and video from this former Hoosier I've been talking to, but cell service right now terrible there and the power has been out for most of the day. At the same time, those farther inland are preparing for the powerful storm this evening. Fort Myers, Florida and other places along the southwest Florida coast have been getting battered by Hurricane Ian. Jim Adderholt and Christine Racino, two Hoosiers now living in Fort Myers, who we talked to Tuesday, say it's gotten really bad, but they're hanging in there. Meanwhile, those farther into Florida prepare for the storm themselves. The path of Hurricane Ian now shows it'll cut inland between Tampa and Orlando. They're only about a 90-minute drive from each other. It's the area where Fisher's resident Bernardo Tord's daughters live. Definitely helpless. Definitely makes you feel helpless. We talked to one of his daughters, Sierra, who just began seeing the impacts of the storm in the last 24 hours or so. Oh, wow. It actually looks like this tree up here went down. She walked us around outside of where she lives to show us the earliest impacts of Ian. The fear is really like, at this point, it's just unknown. You don't know what exactly will. Up until conditions started to get worse. Sorry, it's going to pick it up again. She's expecting serious storms throughout the night with winds at more than 75 miles an hour, heavy rain, and even the possibility of tornadoes. She says the worry will keep her up. And then like you can at least see out the window, see what's going on, and then in the dark, you just don't know what's going on. Sierra's sister lives 30 minutes away. She will likely see similar issues. They'll be keeping in touch throughout the night. We're just trying to stay in communication, check in with each other as long as we can. While their dad is worried sick back here in Indiana. I can afford to take care of them. I just can't afford to lose them. Bernardo Tord also says he's thinking about the people who can't afford to move out of the path of the storm. He says he was a single father living paycheck to paycheck and doesn't know what he would have done in this situation. In the studio, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. Yeah, well, we're thinking about him and those daughters. Thank you, Eric.